Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. Diversified mining major BHP Billiton is taking part in the shale gale in the US and Sassel in Canada, while international energy group Shell explores for shale resources in the Karoo in South Africa. Mining Weekly editor Martin Creamer is in the studio to tell us more. Welcome, Martin. Thanks, Shannon. Can you tell us what's significant about BHP and Sassel exploring for shale gas? It's very interesting to see Sassel get involved so quickly in Canada. We know that they were also wanting to explore, and I think they will still explore in our own Karoo in partnership with uh, Stat Oil and Chesapeake. Mm -hmm. But snapping up two assets in, in, in Canada quickly shows that they believe that this is a very viable situation. So they've uh, spent like 15 billion rand on uh, taking up these assets because I think they realize they can bolt on their technology, this fabulous gas to liquids technology that they have developed so well uh, in South Africa and elsewhere that can actually give you clean diesel. So not only could they s supply gas into the market, but they could also supply green diesel into the market. Then BHP Billiton is always simpler. You know, they just want to stick to their knitting. So uh, they tried to buy uh, potash assets in, in Canada, failed. They quickly switched across and, and spent um, double what uh, Sassel is spending on, on uh, going assets in, in um, North America. So they will have the pipeline as well as the gas and they will sell the gas. They are, of course, in hydrocarbons already. They, they sell oil. So this is just uh, an addendum to a business they're already in. Now, BHP expects to close this deal in the first half of 2011, while Shell in South Africa expects to take nine years for the exploration. Yeah, it's a tale of uh, two cities there. You know, you've got the one buying an operational situation and getting into the business immediately and then exploring while it's in the business, whereas Shell is entering the business. So it's still got to do the hard yards of long exploration, and the, they're thinking of doing that in our Karoo. They are sort of second in line. I think Falcon got in ahead of them uh, and took the plum pot, but they are, uh, they've got a very big area there, and they're looking, I think that's why they're giving themselves nine years, mm -hmm. so that um, they can cover this well and, and, and do it properly. But hopefully it will be shorter than that. But you know, these corporates always uh, understate uh, things or give themselves latitude. Now Shell expects to begin exploring uh, fracking in early 2013. What environmental impact could this have? Yeah, people frown on fracking. It's, uh, it's an hydraulic means of uh, getting the gas liberated out of the shale. For a long time we couldn't liberate that gas. And then they introduced new technology and they use hydraulic pressure. So that pressure is built up by a mixture of water and sand and chemicals and people don't like the chemicals and uh, with that they, they get that gas at low cost or at economic cost out of uh, the shale and this has been a game changer in the natural uh, gas market because it's brought the prices down. This is unconventional gas but it's brought the prices down and um, so um, we, we're seeing people saying like Sh Shell is saying when we frack uh, we will tell you what chemicals we use, it'll be totally transparent and we will also recycle the water. We know Karoo hasn't got a lot of water. We'll treat that water. So we will do this the right way. What sort of costs are involved in shale gas exploration? Well, we see there it's uh, over a billion rand for shell. You know, they're looking at uh, 200 uh, uh, million dollars. Uh, so it's not a shabby amount mm. that one has to invest there. And you don't know what return you're going to get. So it's like going to the casino, you know, putting your money on. But uh, th the is information that we have in South Africa that indicates that there is shale there. People have known that there is this gas within the shale uh, environment, but they've never been able to get at it economically. So I think Shell is banking on that, as is Sassel. Sassel is also sniffing around in the Karoo with its partner, Statoil and Chesapeake, and then even Anglo-American is sniffing around there. You know, uh, and uh, But I think it, um, Shell has got quite a big slice. Well, thank you very much for your insight, Martin. Great pleasure, Shannon. That's the show for today. Join us again next time for more news and insight into what's happening in the mining world. For 30 years, Crema Media's engineering news has delivered unmatched insight into South Africa's real economy. Subscribe now and go to engineeringnews.co.za for the real economy in real time. Engineering news, not just for engineers.